Now, before I go any further, this requires you to be at the very end of the game and have beaten the game already. Oh yeah, go ahead, just walk in front of my intro, that's cool, lady. What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Red, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play as Thor in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, when I say play as Thor, technically you are still going to be Eivor, uh, however, this is the closest you can come to being the God of Thunder himself. Um, all it takes is six easy steps, however, these six steps can only be done once you have beaten the game. So if you have not beaten the game, then I suggest you hit the like button on this video or add it to your watch later list, because there will be heavy spoilers in this video. I repeat, heavy spoilers in this video. So, again, if you have not beaten the game, please go do that before you watch. Alright, and with that out of the way, the six steps are as follows. Step one through three is going to be beating the witches in the marshes. So there are three different witches throughout the land. You're gonna have to beat all three of them. Once you beat them, you get three swords from them. Step four is using those three swords to unlock a chest. Step five is making sure you have defeated all 45 order members of the Order of the Ancients and turning in their medallions to Hytham. And finally, step six is going to be lifting and wielding the mighty Mjolnir. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you how to do all six of these steps. Alright, so I have the map up here, and to do this, you are going to want to go into East Anglia and the easternmost part of Grantabridgeshire. Uh, there are three little symbols you're looking for. They look like blue little devils, and they will show you where these uh, daughters are. The first one is Goneril. She is in Spald of Fens. She's recommended level 90. The second one is in Walsham Crag. Uh, that is Regan, and she is recommended power level 110. And the third and final daughter that you will have to fight is going to be in Burklow Bog. Her name is Cordelia, and she is recommended level 340. So this one is going to be a very tough fight for anyone who is not towards the end of the game. Alright, so our first one is going to be Goneril over in the Spall Defense, as I said. And again, she is recommended power level 90. Uh, I am right now... 174, so this should be a moderately easy fight for me, although we will find out soon. So, here we go. Go ahead and walk over to this here hanging corpse and interact with it to begin the battle. What battle spit you out? the orders of no king, nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude? You will be skinned like the others! I will tear you apart! If I take you, I will be right! All vapors! Uh, what Seder makes you multiply? I am one, and many. What trickery is this? If I take you, I will be closer! Alright, so the key with this fight is basically to just make sure you are dodging correctly when she teleports away and towards you, and unlike I just did there, make sure you try not to get hit by her ghostly spirit. All right, and into phase two we go. Lasting this long, but now I hold nothing back. If I must take your eyes, I will. All 
Alright, so during phase two, she is going to do these crazy rune circles that generate poison clouds. So you just want to make sure that you try to avoid getting into those. And I am not doing a very good job at this right now. Oh boy. Right, let's go, Gonorill. Come on now. Jeez, that ghost, that ghost is getting me. All right, so again, she's gonna do the runic circles. Spit out those poison clouds, which just makes the arena a little bit smaller. Oh boy. And she does, she does a decent amount of damage for me being almost twice her level. There we go, we got her. Alright, so... Once we end that little mini cutscene, Eivor takes her sword, and that is one of three swords that we are going to need for this mission. And as it said, uh, once we beat her, we actually acquired Thor's Breachers. Or breaches rather so now we have Thor's pants and we will go on to get the next piece of his armor all right guys so now we move on to the second daughter uh, her name is Reagan and she is in Walsham Crag right here over in uh, eastern East Anglia uh, her power level is around 110 I believe and uh, just to show you guys uh, I actually waited until I was at the end of the game to fight this one, just so that I would be overly prepared, if anything. As you can see, I'm power level 400 down there. Uh, so hopefully this fight should be easy peasy for me. Um, and once you're here, again, just like the first fight, you're going to walk up to the body and interact with it. This one. And then the fight I've shall begin. Others. Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart. Seder, you sing troll. Breathe deeply. Watch as I become smoke, and listen as I break your bones. Oh, she's not very nice. Another war begins. Okay, so, like I said, oh, she's got a ghostly form as well. But like I said, uh, I am power level 400, and I waited until towards the end of the game to fight this uh, daughter. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Alright, so that I would be overly prepared. Although, uh, as you saw in the last fight, my um, power level was almost double where the first daughter's power level was so um hopefully this won't be as hard because i kind of struggled during that first fight even though i was almost twice her level this time a little i'm a little bit more prepared with my adrenaline so i can use some adrenaline moves that one did not do that much damage Oh, okay. And here goes phase two. Screams. <laughs> Scream! I shall quiet. A greater darkness fuels my rage. Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Pleased in flame, but not a fire. This 
Okay, she has a bunch of ooh teleporty moves, just like the first daughter. Oh boy, I'm out of stamina here. Okay, that uh, seemed to do much more damage to her. Which is very nice. Oh god, I am wasting my stamina here. She's doing a lot of these unblockable... Oh, jeepers creepers! Get off me, you crazy witch! Doing a lot of these unblockable um, rune attacks, just like that. I'm trying to time my dodges correctly, but as you can see, I am failing. Whoopsie, I'm on fire now. Perfect. Uh, second phase is actually much more difficult than that first phase. Alright, don't get cocky, Mr. Red. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Here we go. Jumping on me again. There we go. We got her. Okay, so as you can see, we got Thor's battle plate from her. The second piece of Thor's armor that we will need. And once again, we collect her sword after the fight. And that is it for Regan. Alright, so if we go over here, you can see that now I have Thor's battle plate. And it looks quite cool, if I do say so myself. Alright guys, so we are in the third and final daughter location. This one is in the Burklow Bog, and we are going to be fighting Cordelia. Uh, again, she is power level 340, so I'm a little nervous about this fight because, uh, once again, I am power level 400. And Reagan, the last battle that I just did, kind of gave me a little bit of trouble, and she was only power level 110. So, this one might take me a few tries to get, but I guess there's only one way to find out, huh? Alright, so oh, we will approach by the Valkyries. this ba uh, the uh, body again, and the battle will commence. Let's do this. Another tortured soul. I do not know such a man. He was betrayed and murdered by those who denied his friendship, just as you deny him now. <coughs> Hold there. I'm not your enemy. Darkness must reign, and you must fade within it. All right, here we go, Cordelia. I will not be taken by a demon goddess. You will join my pile of bones. How can there be so many of you? Alright, so I do do a fair bit of damage to her, but I have a feeling that she's going to do a fair bit of damage back to me. So 
she's going to do more explosive circles, just like her sisters. Alright, and enter phase two. So we just gotta make sure we avoid these uh, lightning circles here, obviously. Your tricks will not touch me. Ooh, there she did a bit of damage. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Your story is lost in the rage you spew. No, no, I am found in the rage. I live there. Alright, we are out of adrenaline once again. Ah, but she falls to the axes. And there we go, we got Thor's Gauntlets. Man, that actually was an easier fight than uh, Reagan. That's interesting. All right, so Cordelia is down, the third and final daughter. We earn a mastery point and... We should go ahead and look at... the new Gauntlets we acquired. Thor's Gauntlets. Perfect, all right, so that is three of five and um, we didn't enter the cutscene like the other two because uh, we didn't finish her close up but I'm guessing that it's gonna give us that third and final sword anyway so let's go ahead and check in our inventory see if we have uh, um, three swords. I don't even know if they show up in the inventory to begin with. There we go. Cordelia's dagger. Alright, so we do have it. We have Cordelia's, Reagan's, and then... Uh, uh, Goneril's right here. Okay, perfect. So we do have all three. Awesome. Alright guys, so now that we have defeated all three daughters and acquired three of the five pieces of armor to become Thor, we are going to go get the fourth one. So the fourth one is Thor's helmet. It is marked on the map by this piece of gear over here in East Anglia. But if you go to this exact location on the map, you won't be able to find it because it is underground. So what you need to do is come over to this staircase to the north of this little marker. Uh, and the entrance to the staircase is going to look like this. It's next to a church. So we're going to go ahead and go inside here. Drop down into the cave. So all you gotta do is follow the tunnel once you are down into the cave. It's a little bit of a trek. Eventually you get to this room, where there is a statue that looks like the uh, daughters. And what you're gonna do is just go up to it and interact with it. The dagger I won from the woman in the swamp. It must go here. And we're gonna do that two more times. I have a dagger from the bog lady. It may go here. And last one. The blade I took from the Lady of the Crack. It may fit. All 
Alright, so putting all three daggers in will make the statue disappear, as you just saw. You just go down into the tunnel that it has created for you. And once we get to the end of the tunnel, we will find a chest. And there it is, Thor's helmet. So that is the fourth out of five different uh, pieces of Thor's armor that we need to become Thor. All right, guys, so like I said earlier, you are going to have to have completed the game before you can acquire all five pieces of Thor's armor. Uh, once you finish the game, you will have collected all 45 order member tokens by uh, defeating all of the members of the Order of the Ancients. So as you can see, I have defeated all 45 of them. And once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and return to Ravensthorpe and head to your assassination hub up here and talk to Hytham to turn in all of the medals. And once you do that, he will give you the fifth and final piece of Thor's armor. Greetings. Here you are, Hytham, the last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. All right, so as you just saw, we got the fifth and final piece of Thor's armor, which is Thor's cloak. Awesome. It's already mythical. Look at that. Don't even have to do any upgrading to it. Okay, so now we are on the sixth and final step of becoming Thor. So what you want to do is fast travel to Norway here. Uh, when you fast travel here, you're going to spawn in down here at this anchor point by Fornberg. Uh, I would suggest then fast traveling to this anchor point up here in Hordefilke, because it's much closer. And then once you're here, all you have to do is hop into your ship and sail in between these little islands here and up into this little inlet area uh, around the area where you finish the game. But instead of going all the way back to the end of the inlet, what you're gonna wanna do is stop right in the middle, or near the middle at least, and there is this little uh, offshoot of land here that leads up into the mountain. So just go ahead and park your vessel there, hop on out, walk up this hill. And once you get to the top of the hill, you are going to see a little area that looks like this. It's a little crevice area in the mountain. So you're just gonna follow this crevice area. And as you can hear, there is thunder and lightning happening because this is the location of the one and only Mjolnir. As you can see, Thor's hammer is resting right here in the rocks. So we're just gonna walk up to it and interact with it. And there we go, we now have Thor's hammer Mjolnir and we received the worthy trophy which is awesome. All right, so now we can go ahead and take a look at Mjolnir, this mythical hammer. And uh, it looks pretty cool if you ask me. I like the little zappy sparks coming off of it. Uh, it has a base attack of 123 pre-upgrade. As you can see, there are three upgrade slots uh, that we can uh, use to upgrade this hammer and three empty rune slots that you can choose whatever runes you want to pop on and its special ability is that every hit has a chance to do stun damage to all enemies around you. So you are going to be quite uh, the force to reckon with when you are wielding this bad boy. Wow, so this thing sounds cool when you're just whipping it around too, just having fun with it. Uh, the one thing that I would like to see changed with this weapon 
is the fact that it doesn't replace our ranged weaponry. So as you can see, we can still pull, pull out our bow and arrow and shoot arrows. I would have liked it if it would have given us the option to throw Mjolnir and then bring it back to us, because obviously that is one ability that Thor can do as well. And that's all there is to it. Those are the six steps to become Thor, or as close to the God of Thunder as you can possibly become in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please go ahead and drop a like for me. I appreciate it so much. Um, and we are super close to 600 subscribers, so if you could be so kind as to help me out with that goal, I would love you forever, because I would love to reach 600 subs uh, before Christmas time. Um, we are going to upload plenty more videos like this and do a ton more live streams as we head into the 2021 season. So go ahead and make sure you keep your eyes out for that. Uh, and I think that's all I have to say for today. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.